Okay, and I'm back. We're going to start decorating the tree. Now, the first thing that my husband and I found were my grandparents' ornaments from the 1950s, 60s, and when I was a kid. Did you turn the lights off? Yes. Okay. So, with the antique ornaments, you always want to be careful with the placement so that they don't get broken. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just start putting some of these up. You wanna hang some? No. No, okay. I know how you like to do this. I'll, honestly, my husband said he knows how I like to do this and I'm like going, honestly, I really could go either way with, <laughs> with, with this. And you think I'm going to uh, handle your grandparents' stuff? No way. I mean, it's our stuff. It's no longer. Both of my grandparents, by the way, are are deceased. And I should turn you guys around. I'm going to move you guys. You guys are sitting on a uh, ornament box. You know, um, do me a favor. Go through this one because I want to find the kids' ornaments. You know which ones I'm talking about. Not particularly, but I will when I see them. Yeah. There should be a box of, of ornaments. It's been so long since we've Oop. done this. You want you don't want to go too close to the edge of the, the branch with your ornaments. But you want to go... Far, you want to go far enough just to hold them in, into place. No, they're not in here. They might be in one of these boxes over here. Oh, these mm -hmm. are all ornaments like satin and... and... Of course, our tree wouldn't be a tree unless we put our, our pride ornaments that we got from San Francisco when we went for the millennium. You want to reserve the really big ornaments for the bottom. I don't know if they're in there, or if they're in possibly in this one. Let's see what's, what's oh these are. Apparently, I didn't have room for all of Grandma and Grandpa's. Got me. If I could put the tree back on the lights, it would be it would be a holiday decorating this. So I'm just going to decorate um, our branches. Now in the past I put candy canes on the tree. I put other stuff on the tree. And I'm finding some, some of my Mickey Mouse uh, decorations. Yeah, those are those are Joe's. Oh. Uncle Joe made those. Well, I found the star for the top of the tree. Now the question is, is um, I think we need to put batteries in it. I, I think, Joel, that thing you threw out. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, and I'm back. I just broke one of my grandmother's ornaments, but luckily it was a small ornament. I don't want to break that one. Oh, that's very storage. Uh-oh, that, that's, um, that's, there's no way to fix that. Well, there is. I'd have to sew it in. Okay, well, Maybe we can just stick him in the branch? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. 
turn on camera. I, I can't help. I'm, I live here. I could. Oh, that may or may not last. Well, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Basically, you just want to load up all of your branches with the ornaments. Here, can you help me? Okay, that one. Put some of these big ones down here. Who's this? That's one of grandma's. No way I'm gonna see any way to untangle. I don't, I, yeah, I don't think it was. Of course, this is a really teeny tiny ornament. That's, I'll give you guys closer. That's, that's piglet. That's piglet. And God, I've never seen such small ornaments. Oh, yeah. We had, I mean... Yeah, I don't know what you are the doing first there. time that my husband and I went to Disney World, I was able to spend 500 bucks in less than five seconds at their Christmas tree store at Walt Disney World. We ended up coming with cases. Speaking of which, I have the the Magic Kingdom. All right, we'll start grabbing some ornaments. Uh -oh. Plastic, apparently. Huh? Oh, that's our Providence 2000 ornament. Oh, okay. God, has it been that long since we've been to Providence? Yeah, I guess it is. What, where am I taking things from? Um, uh, box doesn't matter. Now, I thought you said you didn't want to touch that box because those are Grandma's ornaments. Well, then what other box am I even looking at? The one, the, the plastic one. There's Winnie and Tigger. But you're going to put it on because this is heavy. Oh yeah, that's my old... That's an old one. Is Mickey, but he has nothing to put on him. What do you mean? He has nothing to put him up with. Maybe he's he's maybe he's that one that sits, that sits. No, he has to be an ornament. I don't know what what that is. So we're just kind of decorating our um, tree. So now that you're seeing the tree, I'll be back later once we get the tree all fixed. Okay, I'm back for a second. I wanted to show you some of these ornaments. And these hold special meaning um, to me. And the, this one is mine. And the reason these hold so much special meaning to, to me is uh, my grandmother hand-painted these ornaments and, and these down here. But she hand-painted these for me, my husband, and my kids. So I wanted to make sure that they got, they got nicely on the, on the tree. And there's nothing like handmade ornaments for the tree, especially when someone puts a lot of love into it. And I treasure every ornament that my grandmother made for us. So I'm going to go ahead and put more ornaments on the tree. I'll be back a little bit later and I'll show you the final product.
Okay, hi y'all. Um, I'm gonna welcome you to my kitchen, but we're not staying in the kitchen. It took me a long time. It's almost six o'clock and we just finished decorating for the holidays. So I thought I'd give you a tour. Now the kitchen is a little bit messy because there's stuff out here. I re reiterate, I am not doing anything with the outside because all of my Christmas decorations for the outside or outdoors are buried in the garage and, and currently I can't get to the stuff in the garage. So we're going to start over here and we're going to start with with my little um, Kris Kringle. I'm going to sit you guys down and he's very special. My grandmother hand painted this when I was, was much younger. I think I was maybe eight or nine when she made this for me. Well, she made it for herself and then she gave it to me when I bought bought our, our home. And I treasure that every year. I also have a collection of Thanksgiving and Easter. And then, followed by the penguins, she did the same thing. She hand painted all of the penguins for me and I, I kept them in their boxes. And then we're gonna move right along. Don't mind the, the kitchen, we're actually, or the dining room. Rather, we're actually getting ready to have snow, and those are the uh, for the toys for tots and the the um, pantry goodies that I'll, I'll be uh, get collecting through the end of um, or through the fifteenth of December. Then we have a little snowman, and I don't know if she bought this or she painted this. She may have painted this. Um, I don't quite remember her doing this one though. And then, of course, that's my nutcracker, my snowman nutcracker. And then I know my grandmother did paint this one. This is a little um, teddy bear um, Santa Claus. And I remembered she painted that one for me. And, of course, I don't have, if you've noticed in this house, I don't have a fireplace. So our stockings, actually, I hung the little doggy stocking. My husband's stocking is over here for the Christmas holidays. Um, unfortunately, my stocking is in the kitchen and I don't have a place to hang it, but, um, sorry, you'll hear me knocking things out because the, the couch slid much closer to the piano. And finally, we're going to come and I'm going to put you guys down and swing you guys over. Might have to move it out for a second. And then we come to my Christmas tree and I'll try to kind of hard for you guys to get the whole tree in focus because it is very big. It's a seven and a half foot tree. And there you go. There's the full effect of the tree with the star on top. And I'll bring you guys in closer because this tree has very, very special meaning for me. Some of these ornaments my grandmother hand painted when she was alive. Like uh, uh, this is hand, her hand painted ornaments and she has the years that it was done like that one was done in 1978 and I would have been five back then and some of these are from the 1950s from her um when she had her tree with um my uncle and my mom when they were both alive I never met my uncle because he died um th he died three years before I was born and then my mom died the year after I was born, so I have no recollection of either of them. But this is the tree all decorated for the holidays. And this is very special for me. This was the very last thing that my grandmother made for my husband and I for Christmas. Um, a couple of years before she passed away, she hand sewed this. For us and, and made this and I treasure this. This is in a special, this goes in an airtight special location and when it's hanging we don't smoke in this area because that's a treasure both to me and my husband. So you can see I'm decorated for the holidays. Of course I need to rewash the, the uh, pantry. Oh I do have one other little thing and I don't know if you can see it. I do have a light in here, but I also have a little Christmas tree and I don't know if you can see it. It's, I'm gonna point it out, it's right there that's lit up. I do have this light behind it off right now so that it, it's not lit, but I have the little tree lit. No, come on this side so you guys can actually see me. So 
We're all ready for the Christmas season holidays. Um, I hope you guys have started to decorate for the holidays. We'll be doing more formal events as December goes around. And we're definitely going to be doing the Christmas holiday. Now, some of these ornaments, like this one, was hand-painted by my grandmother. Anyone that looks like this, those were all hand-painted by my grandmother. So, I'm going to close out the video. I hope you enjoyed the decorating um, videos for me. It's something different that I don't do often. Now, my tree will stay up until after the first of the year, and then... Probably the second or the third, I'll be taking it down for the, for the remainder of the season. And it took me a long time to get it decorated. Um, you will also notice I have a ton of Disney ornaments on my tree. I, I'm a big time collector of the Disney ornaments and they just look amazing uh, in my tree. But that's how my tree is decorated. So I'm going to close out the video and say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tune in next time for a Cooking with Joel episode. And we're going to be starting the Christmas holiday season. And I'm actually going to let you guys get the full effect of the tree with the light off. I'm, of course, my living room lights on, but that's what the tree looks like. And I will put a tree skirt. I'm washing it currently. But... Stay tuned. In the coming weeks, we're going to be doing our Christmas um, baking season. And I just found my Betty Crocker um, cookie book that's got some recipes that we'll be using for the Christmas holiday. Of course, I'll also be doing some of my grandmother's favorite um, holiday cookies. And, of course, I'll be making some of our favorites. So you don't want to miss those. Tomorrow, I think we're going to start do, start the holiday season the right way. And we're going to start with the holiday biscotti. And I promise I will write down the ingredients for you guys for the holiday biscotti. And it's going to be made a lot differently than the other ones. You don't want to miss that. So I'll see you on the next Cooking with Joel video.